Hi everybody, it's Kimberly Level here from KimberlyLevel.com and I am super excited to join you this evening for the Sacred Rose Full Moon Healing Circle. I'm sorry that we're a little bit late getting started. Uh, technology's not been my best friend this evening. So I'm just going to give a minute or two before I dive in. And uh, I'll just try and share this as well into the group. So if you're hopping on, then please do let me know where you're from. It's always fun to know where you're joining me from. So, here in the UK we've had lots and lots of rain for the past few days and then it's been um, lovely and sunny and today it had gone cloudy so I thought okay I'll be great with the lighting and then lo and behold the sun came out so just try and fix the lighting up as best I could. Anyway, as I said I'm really excited to, to connect with you and if you didn't join me on the last um, call, the Sacred Rose uh, New Moon call, then you're very welcome. And so this evening we'll be overlit with uh, the Rose Lineage. So some of you, I'm sure many of you will be aware of the Rose Lineage. And for those that aren't, we are working with um, Sophia, who is the bringer of, she's the cosmic goddess and she's the bringer of wisdom, holy wisdom. And we'll be working with um, many of the Rose Lineage, Isis, we were working with Mother Mary and with Mary Magdalene and um, there are many others that are joining us and um, really this evening is about tapping into the energies that we can be as we bring about this um, new earth that we're creating, to bring about the vision of the the earth and the future earth that you would like to create. So many of you I know are light workers, star seeds, um, healers, and so this work is really important for ourselves on a personal level, in as much as um, we are here to embody the light, we're here to embody the love and to be the change that we want to see in the world. And as we can embody greater and greater uh, vibrations and frequencies of love and of light then we can um, bring about more change on the planet and also bring about more um, of our own personal fulfillment and bringing our soul's mission our soul's gift to the world so that you can actually get out there and help the people that you're here to help and support and to be all that you came here to be so if we don't go within then we have to go without so this is the opportunity um, to connect with your lineage and to work with your body with your soul and to download uh, more codes um, more light frequencies so hi Jagana how are you sweetheart let me know where you come from so um, really we're blessed um, with the full moon because we do have a, a full moon in um, Sagittarius. I think we've got full moon in Sagittarius. Oh, the lighting's changed. That's the sun disappearing. So um, the full moon in Sagittarius and the moon is connected with um, the constellation of serpents, which is the snake, which is um, also very um, central to the goddess. Um, and it's really representing that wisdom that um, comes through um our intuition through our knowing hi anna thanks for sharing sweetheart so i'm going to be inviting you to connect with the earth to connect with the rose lineage to connect with your heart and with your soul and we're going to connect with our womb we're going to align uh, our chakras our energy centers we're going to work with the nadis and we're going to balance the divine masculine and the divine feminine energies within us um, so that we can come into greater alignment and that we can um, 
drop in deeper into our hearts and into our wisdom. So if you are not driving, <laughs> then uh, you might want to close your eyes and just um, take a moment or two, take a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, breathing all the way down through your body, all the way through the soles of your feet into Mother Earth and allowing your energy to go deeper, 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 deeper and even deeper down into the earth beneath the crystal grids, allowing yourself to connect with the love and support that is there for you at all times. Allowing yourself to feel that safe and secure feeling of being held, being loved, being supported. And just allowing your breathing to relax, your body relax. Just letting go, allowing yourself to be held. So there's nothing to do, nowhere to go, just allowing yourself to simply be. And then bringing your awareness up through your body now, so bringing all of that beautiful Mother Earth energy up through your body, through your feet, up into your legs, up into your base chakra. And just allowing the energy to move through every cell of your being. So we're clearing and we are allowing ourselves to be more grounded, more connected. Enlightenment uh, ascension isn't about floating up on a fluffy cloud, it's about being here now. And it's about grounding our light and bringing this beautiful frequency and vibration of love and wisdom to the earth. This is what we've came for. So it's about having joy and we can't have joy um, if we're not in our bodies. So just allowing yourself to feel the joy of this energy, this unconditional love that has gifted you from Mother Earth. All of the minerals and the crystals, the rocks, the soil, the earth, the green of the grass and the trees, that sense of rootedness, of belonging, allowing yourself to embrace and embody all of that within every cell of your being. And then bringing that energy up through into your sacral chakra, into your womb space. And as you feel into your womb space, just allowing yourself to be aware of the beautiful pink rose. And allowing that pink rose to be within your energy field, within your body, within each of the chakras. So being aware of the rose in whatever way that you sense it, maybe you see it or you um, feel it, maybe you can even smell the scent of the rose. So just allowing yourself to be connected with the rose. Allowing this beautiful rose energy, this beautiful ambassador of love, divine love, to flood through every cell of your being, to fill your womb space. And our womb is the place where we create and where we can plant the seeds for our vision for all that we wish to create and to birth in the world. And so in order to create, sometimes we need to empty out. So just allowing yourself in this beautiful time of, of full moon to let go of anything that's no longer serving you, just allowing the rose to sweep and clear, dissipate and release all in any energies that don't belong to you all and any energies that are no longer required. Just allowing that gentle dissipate and release. And then bringing your energy up into your solar plexus. 
bringing that rose energy into your solar plexus. Once again, allowing it to feel every cell of your being and allowing these energies to radiate out into your energy field and just dissipating and releasing anything that doesn't allow you to be in your power, to be in your sovereignty. Anywhere that you have struggled perhaps with boundaries, just allowing the rose to support you in honoring yourself, honoring others, having those beautiful, flexible boundaries so that you don't have to be in control, you don't have to be, you don't have to put walls up, you can allow yourself to receive and you can also be received, it's safe for you to be received. So when we have this feeling of safety, it's safe for us to express ourselves, it's safe for us to be in our power, to be in our bodies, to be with others without shrinking and without giving away our power, without giving up who we are. And so everywhere you have given away your power, everywhere you have struggled with your boundaries, which is really common, uh, particularly for women, particularly for empaths, but often giving to others. So know that it's safe for you to give to yourself, it's safe for you to receive. So just drawing up these beautiful rose energies, sacred rose, divine love, the love that you be, and filling your solar plexus. And as you take another breath, breathing on up now into your heart. And bringing the rose within your heart. And just allow your shoulders to drop. Be aware of the love that you are. And I wonder what love you can have right now for you. So often that we're busy giving that love to others. Sometimes we forget to give it to ourselves. So allowing yourself now to be completely enveloped in this beautiful divine love. And the love that you are. Allowing the rose to dissipate and release anywhere that you have felt the need to separate yourself from yourself, from others, anywhere that you have created walls to protect yourself or any other type of barrier to protect your heart. Just allowing the rose to heal, dissipate and release. Any energies that don't belong to you, any energies that are no longer serving you, And allowing the energy of your heart to expand. Allowing the love that you are to feel your entire body. And then taking another deep breath in and bringing the energy up into your thymus. And as you breathe in, breathing in this beautiful pink, sacred rose, divine love, divine light, allowing it to expand. Knowing that the rose is the highest vibration, that love is the highest vibration. And this is your true frequency. And then taking another deep breath in and bringing the energy up into your throat chakra. Bringing the rose into your throat.
and breathing in that love. And anywhere that you haven't felt safe to speak your truth, anywhere that you have been silenced, anywhere that you have lost your voice, suppressed your voice, let's just clear all the energies that have allowed that. It's dissipating and releasing these energies with grace, with ease, with this beautiful sacred rose, the divine love, divine light. Knowing that in the presence of love, in the presence of light, all else can be released. And then taking another deep breath in, breathing up into your third eye. Again, bringing the rose into your third eye. And just allowing the rose to spin a little. Clearing and releasing, dissipating all that no longer serves you. Everything that doesn't allow you to be connected with your intuition, your awareness, your ability to vision in whatever way you do that. And anywhere that you have been persecuted or shut down in some way with regards to your intuition, with regards to your clairvoyance, your ability to see clearly. Just allowing the rise to heal and release all of those energies. Knowing that as we're healing, we're releasing, we're working on all levels through all time, space, dimension and reality. And then taking another nice deep breath in, breathing up into your crown chakra. And bringing the rise into your crown chakra, allowing your crown to light up this beautiful pink sacred rose, energy of divine love, divine wisdom. And then once again, breathing up out through your crown chakra And going higher and higher and higher up through the beautiful bright white light. All the way up. Connecting with source, with divine love. And now allowing the energy of divine love, divine light, wisdom, power to come down through your body. So the energies are coming up through the earth and they're coming down from the heavens, up through the soles of your feet and they're coming down through your soul star, through your crown chakra and all the way through your body, allowing these energies to merge within your heart. And as these energies blend, feeling yourself supported and sending those energies out through your heart, through your blood, receiving these beautiful crystalline energies, light frequencies, the codes, that allow you to remember who you are and to remember what it is that you're here for. So remember the love and the joy of life. It's a beautiful gift. 
And so, as you allow these energies to move through your blood, through your body, into your meridians, just allowing yourself to be aware of all of the energy channels within you. This beautiful rose energy of love, of light, divine light moving through you, through every cell of your being, through all of your body, through the meridians, just dissipating and releasing all that no longer serves you, all that's no longer required. And renewing, recharging, anchoring these beautiful energies, sacred energies within every cell of your being. Taking your attention now up into any area of your body where you might have discomfort or tension, any area that's requiring perhaps a little more support and just allowing the rose to focus there and drawing in those beautiful energies of love, allowing yourself to receive and I wonder how much you can receive. What if it was unlimited? So everywhere you limit your receiving, can we just clear that please with these beautiful rose energies? And just be aware of any sensations in your body my body's tingling again, all over. <laughs> how much joy, how much... How much will you allow yourself to receive? And what if your body could have even more? What if you could have more of you? Knowing that the more that you love yourself and the more that you're open to receiving, the more joy, the more light that you bring into your body, into your field. And then as you, just simply as you breathe, we're breathing in and breathing out these beautiful energies into our space and into the field, into wherever we are or into wherever we want to direct these energies. So you might want to um, think of somebody that you might like to send energy to, or maybe a place on the earth. Know that you can direct these energies with your intention. And as we fill ourselves up, then we can give to others with much more ease, much more joy. And so what if you were giving from a place of overflow, of abundance? Just honouring yourself, honouring your body. Focusing once more on your heart. Being aware of the rose within your heart. And I wonder if this rose has a message for you right now. So just allowing yourself to become aware of any sensations, images, words that may come. And you may or may not have a question. Sometimes there's no need for question. Sometimes the answers are given before we ask. 
So just allowing yourself to ask and receive or simply receive whatever wisdom is available to you now from this sacred rose, from the depths of your beautiful heart. And it may come as an energy, as a sensation in your body. And it may come now or later. So just relax, let go, allow yourself to receive. Know that your unconscious mind, your mind, body, spirit, they're all connected, so your unconscious mind, body, spirit will receive exactly what is required. And for some people that is an instant awareness, for others it may be a dream, it may be a, a message from someone, it may be uh, maybe something on Facebook, right? Just know that you are receiving and that you can tap into this divine love, this divine wisdom, this divine power at any time. And so bringing your awareness down into your womb space and taking a nice deep breath, being aware of the sacred rose within your womb. And just imagine what it is that you would like to create, what it is that you would like to plant. Imagine that you're planting beautiful seeds for your future, for the future of the planet. And what are the seeds that you would like to plant at this time? How much fun can you have planting seeds? And what if you didn't have to be in control of everything? What if you could simply relax? What if you could set your intentions? What if you could listen to your heart and your soul desires? What if you could listen to your womb? What is it that your heart and your soul truly desires? Just get a sense of that energy. And what if it wasn't about planting a seed for the material things that you desire? What if it was about planting those energetic seeds of joy, of laughter, of love, kindness, compassion, of abundance? So allowing yourself to relax and release all the desires. Simply letting go, being, being you, being love. And when you're ready, simply opening your eyes. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. How you be? So if you have anything that you'd like to share, I would love to hear your experience. So pop any comments in the chat 
I'll remember to scroll down this time. <laughs> How was that for you? How was that landing? <clears throat> and if you have any questions about um, manifesting or about connecting with the rose with this beautiful goddess energy then pop those in and if you're listening on the replay then um, feel free again to pop any questions in or comments and if I don't look so I don't reach them um, now then I will come back to them um, and answer them Hey Anna. Hey, so you've got a huge heart expansion. Yeah. Yeah, and tears are often when I am connecting, I have um, tears coming, my eyes will start tearing. Um, that's kind of, you know, lots of people experience that. So that's beautiful. Yeah, it's kind of like a huge wave of love that comes in. Um, and so that softens our heart and we kind of, it's almost like a permission to let go and to release everything that we've been holding. So often we don't realise just exactly what we're holding or how much we're holding, you know, maybe just be tension in the body or, um, you know, things that we've had throughout our day or throughout the week. <laughs> uh, it's a really good idea to um, kind of have some kind of process that you use to empty out and to release. So um, a good time to do this is actually in the shower, so you can do it on a daily basis. And you can do it very simply. You don't have to kind of have, you know, a long routine. You can do this in like a few minutes. It just water is so cleansing. And so as the water's, you know, coming up, down on you in the shower, you're just asking that everything that's not not needed, not required, that that will dissipate, that will release and, and clear. And you watch the water go down the plug holes. Yeah. Just letting it all go. Okay, any more questions, any more comments? Hmm. Yes, I'm saying uh, tears are flowing and I'm really seeing emotions big time. This full moon and with this rose energy, embracing feeling worthy of higher love. Yeah, the thing that is uh, amazing is that often we're not used to receiving unconditional love, right? We receive um, all too often conditional love and that includes the love that we give ourselves. Sometimes we have conditions upon that. You know, like how many of you... Um, will criticize yourself, will judge yourself, will beat yourselves up um, and be unkind to yourself. Like often you wouldn't do it to somebody else, but we can do it to ourselves, you know. Um, I've been guilty of that too and um, still am at times, right. You know, it's like all the, um, oh, I should do this and I could have done that and if only this, you know. So be kind to yourself. Um, when we put ourselves under pressure and um, when we beat ourselves up and we make ourselves wrong we're kind of often we're sabotaging ourselves so what would it take to be kind to you and to be gentle and loving with yourself uh, often we've had conditioning where we have um, been entrained to be perfect you know we have to be perfect we have to do an amazing job we have to be good at everything and we have to get all of these things done right and as women often we get so busy uh, I know a lot of you have got families and you know you've got all kinds of things that you're taking care of um, what if it wasn't about all the all the busyness and all the doing and what if you could actually allow yourself to be and allow yourself to have greater ease we're so used to um, doing things the hard way and working hard to get results 
right? And that is the masculine way of doing things. And I'm not saying that you don't do any work, all right? Um, but how much fun could you have with your work? How much joy could you have when you're coming from that place of um, relaxation, that place of connection and receiving, that place where you are honoring you? When you're not exhausting yourself and setting all these deadlines and chasing and hustling, yeah? Um, and what if you're allowing others to contribute to you so that you're not the one that's taking all the responsibility for everyone in your family, right? So bring your awareness to, to you. And it's so easy to get caught up in what's going on out, out there, you know, and, and to um, forget to come back to ourselves. Like we kind of go out there and, and put ourselves last, yeah? So put yourself first, all right? It's like the saying when you get on the plane that you need to put the oxygen mask on um, yourself before you put it on somebody else. And um, hopefully it's about not needing the oxygen, right? Not, not getting to that point, yeah? So, hi Sabita. Thanks for joining. You're going to have to listen to the replay, sweetheart. <laughs> Hi, Michelle, Andrea, Suzanne, Jagana. Oh, thanks for joining. So any questions about manifesting, about creating, about the rose? No? <laughs> Hi Sophia. I'm just about to finish up in a minute. Unless you've got any questions, you'll have to watch the replay, darling. So um we've just been doing a beautiful rose meditation and healing and, and um releasing. Um and just talking about coming back into a connection with the divine feminine. And allowing ourselves to create from that space. Yeah, it's good to see you. So, any questions? <laughs> You're all quiet. <laughs> okay, so we're going into, um, you know, uh, the beautiful time of solstice. And uh, there's lots happening energetically. Um, and many of you I know will be experiencing um, uh, awareness, shall we say, in some form or other around this. Maybe it's physical sensations or maybe there's things showing up in your life. Sometimes things get a little bit crazy when we've got lots of things happening energetically. So it's really a time to um, know who you are and to ground yourself. Um, so actually grounding and connecting in with the crystal grid and going, sending the energy down beneath the crystal grid will help you to feel more connected and more grounded. Um, and really be kind to yourself, be gentle with yourself. Just allow yourself to, uh, to acknowledge your feelings and then acknowledge your energy so that you're not pushing. Allow yourself to give yourself permission. So often we are um, looking for permission, right? So if you're looking for permission, then I'm giving you permission now, here and now, to be kind to you, to take care of you. Give yourself permission to do what feels good for you, to do what feels light for you. Don't keep pushing yourself and pushing your body. Yeah, your body will tell you. And if you don't have the energy for something, then maybe it's not the time, or maybe it's not the thing, right? Maybe it's uh, about taking time out. Maybe it's about resting and nurturing yourself. Maybe it's simply about breathing and drinking in the beauty of nature, listening to the bird song. Yeah. And it's really interesting how when we can allow ourselves this connection, this communion with our body, with the earth, with nature, uh, with the goddess within, that we can birth um, amazing things in uh, a way that is uh, flow and pure joy, synchronicities, okay? So many of us have, 
you know being within that energy and then it's kind of like in in our lives we get busy and then we go into the masculine energy or in your business you go into the masculine energy so we want the uh, masculine energy all right but we want to have that balance so if you're feeling tired you're feeling exhausted know that it's a time to nurture it's a time to rest and relax it's a time for you to replenish and to restore your energy yeah and uh even if you've got lots of energy, it doesn't necessarily mean it's time to get uh, busy, 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 right? Again, it's um, what is going to create the greatest for you, yeah? Um, we can enjoy life so much more when we have more energy. And often, um, you know, when you've got energy, you decide that you're going to do 101 things, right? Because you've got the energy. So what if you could just enjoy that energy moving around your body? So my invitation to you is to um, be with the question of how much joy can you add to your life? Like what joy can you add? The other day I was, um, I went somewhere and there was some incense um, burning. And as I walked in the room, I smelt this incense and it was gorgeous. And I was like, ah, oh, that's that's this particular incense that I love, right? And uh, I hadn't smelled it for a while. And I've got lots of it at home. And it occurred to me um, that I hadn't lit incense for a little while. And it was kind of like, oh my goodness. <laughs> so what is it that you haven't been doing that you would love to do that if you would do it would totally nurture you and be such a gift to you? And what if you could actually choose that? Um, so for me, like the past couple of days, I've been lighting incense every day. And it, it's really made a huge difference. It's just, it's a very simple thing. But you know, when you look at what brings you joy, often it's our senses. So the things that you can um, touch or taste or smell. Um, it may be flowers. It may be um, getting outside and feeling the ground. Yeah, walking bare feet on the grass or walking in the forest or at the beach yeah just feeling that connection with earth um, and our bodies and our nervous systems need that because our nervous systems um, need to unwind and uh, to recharge so maybe it's music that's another thing sometimes I forget I'm kind of listening to other things and then I'm, I could just put some music on and listen to the music or maybe dance yeah so make a list of what is joyful for you what is nurturing for you ask the question what can you add to your life that will bring you that joy that would be joyful for you because the more joyful we are the more um, we create with ease and flow um, and we create from that place of abundance yeah um, and then that's what we attract okay so I hope you've enjoyed this evening and um love to see you again on sacred rose circle so watch out if you haven't already then um like the page and then you probably get a notification when i go live um and uh, or come and join me in the wealthy business goddess group until we speak again much love and bye for now